Hey friends, in this video we're going to be making some abstract art. Abstract art is one of my favorite things to teach and create because it doesn't look real but it makes you feel. No pressure. This lesson is inspired by artist Sarah Schroeder. She lives in Miami, Florida, and is inspired by lots of the tropical plant life and the beautiful pastel motifs of the Art Deco neighborhood preserved where she lives. She uses lots of gestural movement and lets her energy and emotion guide her mark making. You can find inspiration for your abstract art both from within your own mind and body and from your surrounding neighborhood and where you live. It might be places you visit. It could be your favorite colors. It could be just a representation of how you feel in any given moment. Your choice, young artists. Let's get started. To begin your abstract piece, you'll first want to think about how you're feeling. What's inspiring your art project today? Are you feeling really excited and happy? Is it a beautiful sunny day? Are you inspired by the colors of the blooming flowers? Maybe you're feeling a little dark. Maybe you're feeling a little worried or anxious and you have some knots and scribbles you want to get out on the page. There's no wrong answer. Just take a moment to reflect and see how you're feeling. I'm going to be creating two pieces of abstract art here. One is inspired by the fact that the school year is coming to a close and I'm really excited for the summer. I love going to the beach, seeing the blue ocean, the bright yellow sun, and there's a lot of beautiful trees in my neighborhood with pink flowers, so I chose these pinkish colors. My second piece is more of a personal reflection because I just love these colors. Sometimes your abstract art can just be a reflection of your favorites. That's okay too, right? Of course! Now, you'll want to select all the materials you're working with before you get started. I'm using markers, oil pastels, and a micron pen. I do have this tiny little broken crayon here too. Feel free to get your pastels if they're at the end of their lives. Small, little, they will work great for this piece. If you want to use color pencils, if you want to use paint, the answer is always yes. Just choose your color palette and let your feelings, let your energy guide your mark making. The one final note I will make, if markers are in the mix, if you're choosing to use markers at any point, make sure you use them first. If you put markers on top of oil pastels, the tip of the marker can get clogged. So you'll want to make sure you're mindful and careful with your materials. The only other thing I'll say before I get started is, is you can hold your paper the vertical way, portrait mode, or horizontally, landscape mode. Totally your call. I think I'm going to go vertical for this first piece and I'll see how I feel for the second one. Alrighty, I'm real excited about summer so I'm going to start with some big bright movements of yellow. I love using my zigzag lines. For any students of mine who are watching, think of all the lines, the shapes that we've studied all year. Vertical, horizontal, diagonal, zigzag, curvy. It's your choice. You don't have to follow along with me, following along with your own feelings. You could actually follow along to the beat of your favorite song, couldn't you? Why not? And I'm just going here. I don't have a plan. I just have the colors, right? Don't be afraid to overlap. Layering is cool beans. Alrighty, I think I'm all set with my blobs of color. Now these, instead of blobs of color, these could have been specific shapes. It's up to you. Again, abstract art. Doesn't look real, but it makes you feel. I'm going to go ahead and add some of what I call pepper. My friend Sarah taught me that. 
You can create pepper by using the tip of your markers really lightly for small dots and a little more pressure for heavy dots. Just don't wind up and smack the page. You want to be gentle with your markers. And you can use any colors you like. I love the contrast of the black marker. I'm going to just keep adding a few bits of pepper. Okay, now that I've added some pepper, how about some sprinkles? I love sprinkles. In the summer, I always get soft serve ice cream as my sweet treat, so I love me some sprinkles. And again, I'm choosing to use black because I love the contrast. You can make your sprinkles, if you choose to add sprinkles, any color you desire, my friends. Awesome. I think I'm ready to add some of my oil pastel color. Now the summer makes me feel really bright and bubbly, so I'm gonna add some circular shapes just over here. Again, no rules. Overlap, underlap, your call. Now the final little bit I want to add are some white little designs on top. Very subtle, but I like the layering effect. See that? See how it changes? And maybe you want to change the shape. Mm-hmm. But now I feel like I can go over that again with a few more expressive lines, right? Get creative, young artists. Now the last thing I want to add are these little thin lines. Sarah Schroeder makes a lot of these and I just love the way they remind me of sunbursts and movements. So I'm just going to add a few of them where I see fit. Now that I'm done adding my little sunburst lines, I think I want to go back with my black pastel and just add a few more points of contrast. You're always allowed to go back in and edit, add more. That is always allowed, my friends. Get creative with it. I just think over here was super dark, so maybe I needed some super dark over here to balance it out. Mm-hmm. All right. I think that does it. Let's move on to my next project. Now this piece booms energy. Lots of movement, lots of squiggles, lots of scrabbles. I feel like this really showed my excitement. Let's change the tone just a little bit. What if I want my piece to reflect not only my favorite colors, but me in a more calm and peaceful place? Maybe I want to think of those times after the beach is over. I'm riding in the car and I'm sleepy. So maybe these are just my sleepy, calm colors. Let's see what happens. As you can see, these shapes are far more steady, a little more straight. Notice all the movement. I had a lot of different zigzags, my lines and my initial spots, they weren't very even. This has a lot of energy. This piece is a lot more calm. Note the differences. So the way you move, the way you place your marks on the page will change how it behaves. I'm gonna take this little crayon now and make little marks. I feel like just marks are calling to me. So I'm gonna overlap and just make these little marks. I do want to add a little bit of my pepper. Let your feelings guide you. And there you have it, my friends. 
two completely different abstract pieces that represent very different feelings and they feature such different lines, shapes, and textures. Let your insides really guide you with this process and have fun with it. Just see where it takes you. Keep going. Adventure with it. Put on your favorite song, like I said. See where that takes you if you need a jumping off point. And if ever you're stuck, rotate your artwork. Does it look even better the other way? Ooh, I think it might. Ooh, yes. Take your time, get your feelings out, and make something beautiful.